we are going to now get into the new Helium 10 keyword tracker. This is just the beginning, all right? I've been teasing this for months and months. Now, there's some symbolism going with my wardrobe today for those watching this on YouTube or watching this out there. You'll notice I have the OG Helium 10 logo, okay? So this is the, the original Helium 10 logo from, you know, that got started in 2016, 2017. And then my hat is the new Helium 10 logo, right? And that's symbolic because Keyword Tracker is one of the first tools that came out in 2017 and hasn't had like any earth shattering design changes or things like that for a long time. And now, you know, now we're bringing it to the new Helium 10. What are the new features? Let's go ahead and hop right into it. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so here we go, guys. You should already have this new Keyword Tracker window. All right, this is how Keyword Tracker should look. What is new? The first of all, obviously the whole look and feel of Keyword Tracker is different. If you don't have that, you should have a button up here that says try the new Keyword Tracker or something like that, all right? For a little bit of time, you're gonna see a button that says go back to the previous Keyword Tracker. I wouldn't recommend doing that because you know, it's, you're know you gonna have to go to this new one anyways. You can see up here at the top, just like before, how many keywords according to your plan you've used. And I have 30 out of my 500 boost use. You still have similar buttons up here like customize. Actually, this is new. If you hit the customize button, you can now choose which columns you see. You couldn't do that in the old keyword tracker. So I, I right now I have everything included, all right? I am looking at all columns and there are some new columns that keyword tracker has never had, all right? So that customize button, put what you want. Like maybe you don't care about when the date that it was added, all right? Well, you can go ahead and take that column off now with the new keyword tracker. If you want to add a new product to keyword tracker, it's just right here at the very top right of keyword tracker, there's a button that says add products, all right? Now, once you have all of your products here, without expanding it out, you've got a lot of information. First of all, something that I highly recommend, something brand new, you can add notes, okay? So adding notes is important because now you can like tag it on a certain day, all right? So I could say, hey, today is 813. On this ASIN, I am doing a certain kind of, of test in PPC, or I lowered my price, and then I could make a description here. And so now later on, if you're tracking your keyword ranks and things like that, now you can see, oh, on this date, I raised my price. What happened to my keyword rank after that? On this date, I increased my sponsored ad target bid. And did that improve my sponsored rank? Did it make my sponsored rank worse? You can start tracking a lot of these things. I mean, hopefully you guys were tracking this stuff already, but now it's a little bit easier because you're gonna be able to graph it, all right? This is going to show me the track keywords. If I wanna add more keywords, I just hit this edit button right here. Adding competitors, all right? This is, if you didn't add competitors before, guys, I highly, highly recommend adding competitors to your keyword tracker. It doesn't cost you any more money and I'm gonna show you why that is so important uh, moving forward. Here's something that is still the same as the old keyword tracker. It's gonna show you the number of organic keywords in the top 10 and their combined search volume and the number of organic keywords in top 50. You can actually now hit a graph and see the history over time. How many top, how many of your track keywords have you had in the top 10 over, over time? How many have you had sponsored over time? You can see that right here. Now, here's another thing. You can see now how many Amazon's choice keywords you have. The last time Helium 10 checked, that's something that's that's net new, I believe, where it's gonna let you know, hey, for this product, six of your keywords have Amazon's choice badge for that keyword. Pretty cool, right? Another cool new thing, brand analytics, top click keyword. How many of your keywords that you're tracking were you last week one of the top three clicked in all of Amazon for that keyword? That's pretty cool, right? And then not only that, now you hit this button, you're going to see a history of that for your product and the keyword. So now you can see like, all right, hey, every week I'm usually one of the top three clicked on 10 products or 12. And now all of a sudden, one week you see you're down to three. Well, what would that make me do? I'm gonna go in there and see wh where did I lose being one of the top three click? What's going on? Did I lose my keyword rank? That's brand new. Another thing is going to be keyword suggestions. I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. That's something new and that is why you guys need to put your competitors in there. I'm gonna talk about why. Now, another cool thing, you're gonna start seeing now the category and subcategory BSR of your product. If you're tracking your product or your competitor's product as the seed product, you're gonna now see the graph of BSR right here. And you also can now tag your keywords here with different tags. This is a tag for product. Okay, there we go, guys. This tag here is for the product. So maybe, watch this, I'm gonna be like, hey, Manny's Mysterious Oddities, I want to, to add that tag, all right? So now I'm going to be able to tag this coffin letter board 
as Manny's Mysterious Oddities. And then with this one click at the top, now I'm going to be able to go to those products. All right. Uh, the other thing I can have here and I can sort by is the date that I added this product to Keyword Tracker. This is another thing that's kind of net new. Okay. Now let's dive into the actual keywords. All right. So you hit this button, right? By the way, you could actually run Cerebro from Keyword Tracker. Now you just hit these three dots that are right next to the picture and you can actually run in Cerebro, all right? And you can run your product in Listing Analyzer as well. But right now we're gonna hit this down arrow so we can see all of these new tabs right here in the keyword details, okay? And here we go, all right? So first of all, you'll see, I don't know why it's blue. I've been telling them to change that to red. So hopefully they're gonna change the boost back to red. But you can see here in blue, I have a few keywords on boost. Boost is still working the same way. Now, another thing you notice is, do you see that there's a number here for each one? What this is, is like the number of when I added this keyword to Keyword Tracker. If I want to change the order of how it is and I don't want it to go by alphabetical or I don't want to sort it by this, I don't want to sort it by that. This is pretty cool because now I can just change this number right here, okay? And then now that is going to change the order in which the keywords appear in Keyword Tracker, all right? So pretty cool. Another thing, I can add the notes at the keyword level, all right? So I can add notes at the product level. I showed you guys that. I can add notes at the keyword level now. So again, marking when I change something on a certain keyword, like maybe sometimes I'll do test where I'm like, you know what? I wanna insert this keyword into my title. And then does that help my rank over a week or so? Well, I'm gonna add that as a note, the date and time that I actually did that. So then I can go back and graph and see what happened. I mention tags for keywords. We had tags for products. This is tags for keywords. So this is a product. This is a coffin letter board. You guys can see this on Amazon. Now I'm going to do a whole podcast about it in Maldives about the Maldives honeymoon strategy, but you can see I'm literally in launch right now in my phase, what I call phase one launch. So I gave a tag to all of these keywords. So then later I could just hit this button right here. This is my tags. And then it's only going to show the keywords that I, I have a certain tag on it. So maybe I have phase one launch. Maybe I have a group of keywords that I'm doing a PPC test on or whatever. This will allow you to quickly go and go directly to the, whatever group of keywords that you have. Search volume, competing products, organic rank history. These are all pretty much the same. The graphs might look a, a little bit different, but it is, it's, it's basically the same thing. Let's go ahead and take a look at, at one of the graphs here, just to see how different it is. All right, yeah, it's, pre it's pretty much the same. You can see here, I can I can click and drag and zoom in. It's pretty much the, the keyword tracker that you guys know and love. We've got keyword sales. Remember guys, last week, I talked in depth in our weekly buzz about why this keyword sales metric is more important sometimes than the search volume metric. We've got the CPR number here. The CPR number is based on your product, your exact product. This is where the CPR number is based on your product. If you look at CPR and Cerebro, it's just a general CPR number. This one is based on your product. We've got the suggested PPC bid in here. And then something new, we've got the brand analytics, total click share and total conversion share. Okay, so this is directly from Amazon brand analytics. Now you can see the history of what are the top three clicked products for this keyword that you are tracking in Keyword Tracker. What was the top three click products share of the conversions. In addition, another net new thing here is the department. So you know how sometimes you're on Amazon and you you type in a search. You know what, let's, let's, let's look at that now. Let's actually type, or let's go to Amazon. Let's hit Gothic Decor. By the way, guys, if you guys were watching, if you wanna look at the search results of any keyword that you're tracking, just hit this arrow button right next to the keyword and it's going to take you to the search right there on Amazon, okay? Now, you can see here, how in Gothic Decor, it now shows which departments the results are in. Well, we are now showing that in Keyword Tracker. And so what happens is, is we are taking that into consideration right here on the last column, you will see it say under departments, how many categories it's under and which categories those are. So it gives you a little bit of extra kind of like, you know, information there. There's a whole bunch that's coming. I'm, I'm still done here, but we're going to have an index checker button. Like for example, if you notice all of a sudden you are not ranking organically, you are not ranking in sponsor. Ad, what is the next step? Well, the next step is usually, hey, I need to see, did I lose indexing for this keyword? Have I lost indexing? Well, there's gonna be a one click button. Instead of having to copy those keywords, export it to index checker, you are going to have an index checker right here in Keyword Tracker so that you can within seconds know, is it just that you lost ranking or did you lose indexing as well? Super, super important, all right? So that's coming. We're gonna have, I told you guys a long time ago, people were asking for those heat maps of, 
of ranks, just like our Market Tracker 360 tool has. Well, heat maps are coming here. But one thing that's important, well, there's a customize for which columns you want in your keyword tracker. And watch this. Here is something that is new. For organic rank, maybe you want to see the rank like you always have. Now you can toggle what page are you showing up? Maybe you don't care about your specific rank, but you're just like, hey, I want to see how many keywords I have on page one. How many are on page two? How many are on page three? Take a look. You can toggle your rank to go from rank to page. That's pretty cool, right? That's something that a lot of our, not a lot, but you know, otherwise we would have done it earlier, but a number of you were asking us and, and, and it finally got done. It was on our list for a lime. All right. So one thing that I want to go over is the suggestions. All right. So first of all, here, here's, let me go to a product that I actually have suggestions for. Yes. Here we go. I've got one competitor for some reason. Here's, here's one that I have five competitors. This will be a better one, all right? So again, make sure to add the competitors. That should be one of the first things you guys do. Here we go. For the bat shelf, I've got competitors. Let me just take a look at who my competitors are. Other bat shelves, okay? Now, by the way, remember how I told you that we are showing you which keywords or how many keywords you have that is one of the top three clicked? Well, the way that you know it is there's gonna be an ABA and a number one, number two, or number three. That's the symbol that lets you know if last week you were one of the top one, two, or three products that were clicked from that search page. But anyways, this is showing me the ranks of all of my competitors. You guys see that here? All of my competitors, I know it's kind of hard to see. All right, so this is my bat bath mat, and here are all of my competitors, and now I can see if they are ranking or not. Where is their average rank? How many of them are ranking? Like, for example, this is a keyword that's pretty important, right? Bat mat. This is a bat shaped bath mat. Bat mat obviously is a keyword I want to check. And so I can see only three out of my six competitors are ranking for it, but the average rank is 25. So they're pretty much, maybe most of them are on page one, if not all. Okay. I also have the competitor performance. Score. This is the, the way that I can see which are the most important keywords to my niche. All right. It's, it's, it's the same metric that comes from Cerebro. And so the high competitor performance score means that most of your competitors that you entered are all ranking for that keyword and they're all ranking highly. That's what gets you a 10 out of 10, all right? So look at that. These are all completely new things that Keyword Tracker has never had, okay? Now, let's go right here to suggested keywords. By the way, you saw that I was looking at organic rank for my competitors. I can also look at their sponsored rank too. Under suggested keywords, this is going to be something pretty cool. This is very similar to what we had in our insights dashboard. Once I add my competitors, now I can customize my settings and I can almost kind of like automate Cerebro guys right here in keyword tracker. So I could be like, Hey, you know what? My competitors, I got five of them. I want to know if there is a keyword that has at least 500 search volume and my rank is between zero and zero, meaning I'm not ranked at all. And at least one of my competitors right here, minimum one has the organic rank between one and 20. I want a suggestion. So in other words, what this means is I'm basically automating Cerebro and I'm telling Keyword Tracker, hey, watch my competitors so I don't have to run them in Cerebro. And if they start ranking for a keyword, on the first page in the first 20 positions and I'm not ranking at all, give me a notification. That's just an example. I, I could put any anything in here. I could be like, hey, give me a notification if my rank is between 40 and 300, but, but their rank is one in 40 or one in 39, right? So in other words, hey, show me the keywords where I'm not on page one and where they are, right? I could do a lot of those options. Another thing is I could run Cerebro on my own product in the background. Like I obviously, when I started Keyword Tracker, I probably had a good idea of what my main keywords are. But as you know, I hope you run Cerebro on your own product, like once every two weeks or once a month to see, hey, am I ranking for new keywords that I didn't even realize I was relevant for? Is Amazon showing me highly in sponsored rank where, where I didn't even know that the auto campaign was showing me for? Well, you know what? Go ahead and set this notification in Keyword Tracker, where you can say, hey, for any keyword that has at least 300 search volume, where my organic rank is between one and 30, give me a notification that tells me that I should probably track this keyword. And we'll give you that notification as a suggestion. All right, so that's what suggestion means. And then so now I can look at the suggestion knowing that the only way that it was triggered is if something hit those rules that I put, all right? But right here, I'm going to be able to see Hey, which keywords do I want to start tracking? There's probably some, some more things that I'm missing here, but this is just the beginning. Make sure you are using this new keyword tracker and the new features. 
every single one of the new features I went over is designed to give you insights that can help you make more money, help you optimize your listing more, help you track what is going on with your competitors. So I want you guys to make sure to use all of those features. Please let us know what you think of phase one of our new keyword tracker. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you.